The text feature in Macroworks allows you to insert words, sentences, or even entire blocks of text. Any block of text or character can be pasted into the Macroworks text box and edited on the fly. Macroworks text feature supports Unicode characters for inserting symbols, foreign words, names, and characters, including simplified and traditional Chinese. You can copy Unicode characters from documents, email messages, or websites. And we've included a link to Windows Character Map to help you find symbols and special characters. For example, let's program a key to insert the degree symbol. You must be in software mode to use the text feature. Open character map from the tools menu. Double clicking on the character will select it. Click the copy button. In Macroworks, double click a key to open the macro programming window. Select the text tab if it's not already open. Click into the text box, press Ctrl V to paste, or right click and paste. Then click save. Open WordPad to test it. You can mix other text with Unicode as well. For example, we can make three keys for commonly used angles from the key we just programmed. Open the key, select the line to edit, and click into the text box. First we'll add a 45 in front of the degree symbol and a space after it, and save that macro. From the Macroworks main screen, right-click and copy that key. Right-click on a blank key and paste it twice. We'll open this key for editing and change it to say 90 degrees. Save that key, open the next one, and change this one to say 180 degrees. We'll save that key and open WordPad to test it. Let's talk about fonts. Unicode is font dependent. If the font your application is using does not support the character the X keys is inserting, you may get unexpected results. With the wrong font, you may even get a box in place of your character. You have to change the font in the application, or change to a Unicode character supported by the font your application is using. Going back to Windows Character Map for a moment, you will notice the font selection at the top. You can use this to check which characters are supported in which fonts, and select the appropriate font. A good practice to ensure your Unicode character will behave reliably is to insert the character in the application where you'll be using it. We'll select this one from Character Map and insert it in WordPad. Now format it correctly. Now copy the character open up Macroworks again, and paste into the text box. You'll see here how we can type and insert this character from the X keys, and it retains the correct information. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please watch our other tutorials at xkeys.com.